Hello, this video will serve as an introduction to the Pair Pro to Teacher Education Program at Gordon State College. Who is this program designed for? It is specifically designed for those who are currently working in K-12 environments as peer professionals. These pair professionals should ideally have an associate degree or credits equivalent. If you do not have an associate degree at this point, however, you are able to enroll at Gordon State, complete your associate degree requirements, and then start this program. Upon completing this program, you will become a Georgia certified teacher. You also will be able to continue to work as a pair professional during this time because the program is in an online format. How do you know if you're ready to begin the Pair Pro to Teacher program at Gordon State? Well, you want to continue to watch the rest of this video because we're going to review all the associate level coursework that you should have completed. You also want to apply to Gordon State College. When you do so, you're going to be asked to submit transcripts from all the other colleges you have attended, and our professionals at Gordon State will evaluate those credits to see what things and what courses you have left to take before you begin the program. What happens if I haven't completed all the required courses to begin the program? Well, sometimes we have the op option of a course substitution. So that happens in the case where you took a similar course at another institution that's very similar to one we took that is required here at Gordon State, and we can substitute it in. This is something that's done on an individual basis, and it requires that the student um, complete a petition. You can also complete the other associate level courses here at Gordon State. We have on-campus courses at Barnesville, Griffin, McDonough, and we also have online course options via Gordon Online as well as eCOR. This is the advisement worksheet for the elementary education program. So these are all the courses you would need to complete before you start the Pair Pro to Teacher program um, for the elementary program. So what we're going to do now is walk through each of these sections so that you know what courses you need to complete before you start the program. So let's start with area A, which is the essential skills. So in Area A, you have to complete Composition 1 and Composition 2. At most schools, it's labeled as English 1101 and 1102. You also have to complete a math course of some kind. You may choose math modeling, quantitative skills and reasoning, college algebra, or maybe even a higher level course like pre-calculus or calculus. It's very important to know that you must make a grade of C or higher in these courses. Now let's look at Area B. Area B is institutional options, so these differ um, from other colleges. And some of these are based upon the number of credits you are transferring in to Gordon State. So this is something that does have to be evaluated on an individual basis. You'll need four credit hours in this area. If you are transferring in less than 13 credit hours, you will need to take our freshman experience course. Um, you will also need to take a critical thinking course, which we call a colloquium, in this area if you have not taken one and transferred it in from another college. Next, we have Area C, which is the Humanities and Fine Arts electives. You want to select one Humanities elective. You have a choice here. We often recommend public speaking, but you might also choose Art, Music or Theater Appreciation, Humanities, or a Foreign Language. You also want to take a 1-2000 level English course, and so this might include World Literature 1 or 2, American Literature 1 or 2, or British Literature 1 and 2. It's important to know that you can take World Literature 2 without taking World Literature 1. Um, in this case, we are breaking them apart by time. So World Literature 1 is going to deal with the older um, works of literature, while World Literature 2 is going to uh, look at more modern literature. So you don't have to take two before you take one. Pretty much you have a choice. Any world literature, American, or British literature course will work. Next, we move into area D, which is your sciences. So in area D, you're going to take three courses. Two of those courses are going to be science courses with labs, so they're going to end up being four credit hours. You might take biology, chemistry, physics, or geology. It's up to you. You can even mix and match. You might take biology one and then chemistry one, or you might take biology one and like it and take biology two. It doesn't matter as long as you have two lab sciences with each of them being four credit hours each. 
you then want to take an additional science or math course. This course may or may not have a lab, and it might include another lab science, maybe computer science, or another math, math course that isn't being used in Area A. So again, your two lab sciences will have to be four credit hours each, and then that third class can be three or four credit hours. Now let's look at your Area E social sciences. Everyone will need to take one Western Civ or World History course. These are also broken into Part 1 or Part 2, so you can take Western Civ 1 or Western Civ 2. It doesn't matter. Same thing with American History. You can take American History 1 or American History 2. It doesn't matter as long as you take one of them. Then you want to pick two social science electives. We really encourage psychology and sociology, but you might take economics, political science, or any other history course here. Now let's look at Area F, which is specific to the teacher education majors. So here you will have three foundational education courses, 2110, 20, and 30. 2110 looks at broad issues in education. 21, uh, 2120 focuses on diversity within education. And then 2130 starts to focus more on the teaching and learning practice. You also have Math 2008, which is Numbers and Operations for Elementary Education, ISCI 2001 and ISCI 2002, which are both integrated sciences, one focusing on life and earth science and the other focused on physical science. And all of these courses are offered online at Gordon State. Now let's look at Area G, which are institutional requirements that are mainly your health and PE requirements. You want to have one health-based course, which is three credit hours. We have PHED 1001 or 1010. You can choose between the two. Then you also want to take one physical PE course. It's going to be only one credit hour. And this one might include something like pace walking or jogging, aerobics, weight training, etc. Now let's talk about some additional requirements that are not courses that you have to take, but things you do have to complete to start the program. It's very important to note that uh, when you apply to the Bachelors of Elementary Education program, you must have a 2.75 total GPA. You also must complete the Program Admissions GACE Ethics Test. And this is similar to an online course. It's required at the state level. It's not just a, a Gordon um, requirement. It is completely independent from Gordon, in fact. And there is a $30 fee for it. You also want to complete the GACE Program Admission exam. This exam is made up of three pieces, the reading, writing, and math portion. Um, they do have separate fees. You can choose to take the reading, writing, and math all together, or you can break them up and take them on, take them on different days. You can also exempt this particular GACE, the Program Admissions exam, if you have an SAT combined score of at least 1080 uh, taken before July 1st, 2019 or later, or if your SAT combined score is at least 1,000 um, taken in 2019 or earlier. And there are steps on our, web, uh, the, on our website that show you how to register, take, and report your scores for the GACE Program Admission and GACE Ethics Program. But you do have to have both of those completed before you can be admitted into our bachelor program. All right, now that you know what you need to do to complete the program, how do you get started? The first step is for you to apply to the college. So you want to go to our Gordon website at www.gordonstate.edu. In the top right, choose Apply Now. Then you want to apply for admission to the education program itself. So the first one, the Apply Now, is taking you to apply to the college at large. Then you want to apply to the education program itself. And so to get to that application, you want to go to our website, Choose Academics, School of Education, Bachelor of Science in Elementary Special Education, and then looking for the Pair Pro program. On that site, you'll see a link to the following documents that you need to complete. The first is the Gordon State College Pair Pro to Teacher application. Um, this is a PDF form that you can fill out online. It does include an application essay you need to complete. It also includes a criminal background check consent form that must be notarized. You'll also need to have two disposition assessment forms completed. One of these should come from the principal in the school where you are employed, and the other, can, per, and the other one can come from another administrative staff, so an assistant principal, HR personnel, etc. You also want to have three rec recommendation forms completed. These can come from anyone, but it is preferred that they come from someone who has taught you or worked with you. 
You then want to submit your application, disposition, and recommendation forms to us. You can either mail it to us with an attention to bachelor program application, or you can email it to us to either of those emails. You can go ahead and submit your application before you complete the GACE assessments. Um, just make sure that you do go ahead and sign up for those soon because you will have to have them completed before you start the program. We would love to hear from you, especially if you have any other questions. So you can contact Dr. Jones, who is the Dean of the School of Education, at this email and this phone number. Thank you for choosing Gordon State.